You know, I don't know anything about Canadian politics. The price of wheat are Niagara Falls. But I sure do know one thing. I sure dig it up here. We're going to try a little number right now. This is the one that took us from the hills and the stills and put us on the hills. I'm going to give you 40 days to get back home. And I'm called up a gypsy woman on the telephone. You're going to send me out a worldwide hoodoo. It'll be the very thing that'll suit you. I'm going to see that she'll be back home in 40 days. He was told he was a dead man. The obituaries were written, the tributes and tears were flowing. In one mysterious and miraculous year, the man known as Mr. Dynamo, Rompin' Ronnie, the godfather of rock and roll, or simply the hawk, would find out who his real friends are, and along the way, he would cheat the Grim Reaper. Hi, girls. I'm going to go up here and see if I can get me a big script of Viagra. <laughs> I need it bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that, girls? Just typical little, little help from your friends. <laughs> Here you are, Lenny. All right, thank you, dude. The nurse will be right with you. All right, thank, thank you. you. Send me a good looking one. Anyway, it was a disappointment to hear what it was, anyway. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some, and something rained out, baby. That's just the way it is. We're lucky. We made it this far, four lifetimes. We, <laughs> we put crammed in there, at least four, maybe five. Just about a year ago, I sit out on the road Seeking my fame and fortune Looking for a pot of gold If the world had more people like Ronnie Hawkins, we'd do less stupid things to each other. We'd hurt fewer people. We'd have a lot more laughs. I mean, he's just... Uh, I never met another one like him. What other country in the world can a hillbilly come up here, play with all them beautiful girls, make three million dollars, and spend five? I know you fired me for putting two chords in Bo Diddley. <laughs> Anything over three chords is progressive jazz. <laughs> well, Nine four eight seven. And I think that it'll be decades from now before we really see the contribution that he's made. And it's not just in music, but it's just as a going, figure, a larger-than-life figure, somebody that came and, you know, became king of his own world. And action. Just one time, just one more time, I sure love to see those old friends of mine. Sure love to be with them just one more time Talking about days gone by Just one time, just one more time I sure love to see those old friends of mine I sure love to be with them just one more time Talking about days gone by Joint break! <laughs> Are we going to have some dates together? We'll start to tour in Vegas and just not leave? <laughs> <laughs> Reno, Tahoe, Vegas. Reno, Tahoe, Vegas. Right, I'm going to be real serious with you folks. For one second. This is one of the highest honors in my career for a boy from Flatwoods, Kentucky to get to be on stage with the living legend. I've seen a few of my friends go in the last couple of years. Carl Perkins. Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash. This guy's right up there with them guys. He's a living legend. Enjoy this man. We almost lost him.